Spudman is joke and I don't get all the hype at all. He's not gonna last and his business is gonna- well, This is what you would say if you were- <laughs> Now this is what you would say if you were a hater. However, unlike some people who may be bitter or jealous of Spudman's success, I absolutely think he is awesome and I have loved what he's done with his business. I love how Ben Newman, known as the Spudman, has gathered millions of followers on TikTok and on social media, using social media and social media marketing to make his business thrive, captivating audiences with his expertise crafting and selling jacket potatoes. Potato. And if you are a business owner and you watch this video to the very end, you could learn a lot from the Spudman to help you with your business to generate more customers and more sales while growing a brilliant following on social media. So for two decades, Ben Newman, the Spudman, honored his business acumen, ensuring his humble food van in Tamworth remains a beacon and excitement of culinary delight. And if you think that's a little BS, you should check out all the toppings. He adapted and invested into his enterprise, adapting and managing its growth. While preserving his commitment to exceptional customer service. This reminds me of Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this before. But in Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares, one of the first episodes, it was Mama Sherry's Soul Food Track. And by the time it came on telly, the Gordon Ramsay's program, she was so fully booked her business, her restaurant, right? That she had to keep turning people away. And then what ended up happening is because everyone kept turning away and they couldn't get a meal at her shack, soul food shack, they didn't come back and her business went bust. So the spud man, being wise, investing in himself, is making sure this doesn't happen to his business. For that reason, this business is going to still, even if the hype dies down, it's going to still have a sustainable Growth path, the way he treats everybody as an individual and makes them feel special is nothing but amazing customer service. He gives back to the community, giving free potatoes, for example, supporting other local businesses, mentioning them and promoting them on his TikTok, even contributing to others financially. This makes Ben the Spudman a really likable guy. I think his content strategy on TikTok is nothing short of brilliant. Even though I think he probably hasn't even got a strategy. His strategy is brilliant because he offers raw, authentic content about his business and his work. He gives authentic glimpses of his work operations, including him showing the produce that is used in his products and how he makes them. So you can identify and have clarity on the food that you're eating. Now this helps foster and build a genuine connection with the audience while making you feel part of it and wanting to be part of it. So using the TikTok live stream feature to help build excitement, anticipation and brand awareness. Professionalism defines every aspect of his approach. Talking about respecting other people in his industry and making sure his followers do not trash talk them. To offering reasonably priced, nutrition dense filling warm comfort food with generous toppings. Now, despite the simplicity of a jacket potato, Ben and the Spud Man injects incitement, making him immensely likable while drawing millions around the world to his van. Have you visited the Spud Man yet? What do you think about it?